Project Nevada, a big overhaul mod for Fallout New Vegas. A mod aiming to make Fallout New Vegas a more interesting, eventually more challenging, but truly more fun experience for you. Featuring such nice things as visor layouts, sprinting, bullet time, dynamic crosshair, and even some night modes, enhanced zooming, and some sprinting. I don't know about you, but the last update on this mod was 2012. And during that time, there have been coming out a lot of other mods that basically does the same thing as Project Nevada, but unlike Project Nevada, it's not old. And besides, there are so many patches that this, go this mod needs. And like in previous video, which I made about Stalker mod complete, apparently I was very, very, very um, biased, biased against it. So this time I decided to take off the bias glasses off and play this mod just as just as the objectionist view as best as possible all right here we go we're starting off the game new game and everything the only thing i have really is unofficial patches and uh, project nevada as here we start with sprinting pretty standard but why it has that shaky cam like i get it it's supposed to feel like and we start with shaky cam of all things with sprinting and blur on it and even third person animation with it You cannot put up you cannot hold the weapon while sprinting for some reason And here's quickly the options. I mean, I don't really care about the rebalance section But it's there if you want to mess around with I mean Fallout New Vegas is pretty easy game You can break it easily by just leveling up a few times no matter what kind of mods you have Okay, and here's the quick throw. Basically, if you have weapons, you can cycle through like throwable weapons and stuff. But I only have throwing spears. And the thing is, you hold down it to throw it. I never saw really that big of a deal of just swapping from quick items you have on quick slots. Basically, same deal, but you have designated button for it. I don't see anything big about it. Other than you need to hold down the weapon button to throw it. And here goes the enhanced zooming. We have night vision on, and it has that clicking sound when you change the change the FOV zooming. It's okay, it's okay. And here comes the stealth field, a tutorial for it. Basically, you have basically stealth boys now are not just consumables that last for some time. You basically have like a duration for them. Again, pretty okay stuff. Nothing that I particularly care. And here comes the implants on level up. You can apparently have implants for it that does a lot of things. But I never found any implants, so let me just say I never found any use for them. Then we have first person mode. We have this nice vision to go with when you equip new armor and stuff it's it's pretty okay but i don't really like the way it like waves around i guess it's more immersive that way when you see the edges but that's not just for me and here's the stealth action you can see that energies it consumes energy cells to stay in undetected it's okay all right here we go i I'm grabbing up the iconic Desert Ranger out armor because it contains the all the juicy things this mod really has. Not only the visor layout, but enhanced vision too. Just wanted to get that out of here because to see what it is. And just like that stealth vision, it consumes energy cells. You have night vision, then you have this uh, health vision how to put it out and you should have third vision but apparently I cannot get it to work okay I really want to try out the chargeable weapons they advertised on the mod section because apparently using some uh, some energy weapons you can charge up the shot so let's put it into the test still hate that sprinting because it forces out your weapon oh nothing happens Nice. Welcome, sir so, or ma'am. Break never adds new equipment, but it's just really some 
fall out three weapons that were not used. Meh, I would say. Well, let's test them out. Let's see what they have to offer then. No reloading sounds. No reloading sounds. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Maybe you should test out the weapons before you, like, put them out to see if the sounds work. Let me, let me repeat. I don't have any other... I don't have any other mod that could conflict with them, other than bug fixes. So it's a, a, a highly likely that bug fixes fixes whatever these weapons would do, which is stupid. Alright, here we go. Let's try to get the surgeries. Very well. Oh. I need to own the goddamn implants. Well... <laughs> I don't really find any. I don't. Ha I don't have found any implants there. So we're out of luck here. Oh yeah, bullet time. I don't get it. What's with the obsession of making everything blurry? Like when you use like sprinting, it gets blurry and shaky, and using the bullet time, it gets blurry as well. I don't get it. Also, I don't like it how, even in guard, guard mode, it depletes the bullet time meter, yeah, action points, that is. I think if you're in guard mode, you don't really care about, like, the balance of the game. I'm here to test out the mode after all. Okay, and it likes to bug out this enhanced vision. Then again, I cannot blame the mode. I mean, it is old and they haven't really updated it a long while ago. Okay, fuck this now. Fuck this now. There's so... Like, if you want to get it work with some of the other mods you are interested with it, there's so many fucking patches for it. And no, that's not a viable option that we just apply patches and forget about updating mod or something. No, because it's the current year, we're going to just use... We're going to just delete this right away. Like, here we go. Not anymore that, and instead we have the other mods right here. I'll put them on description, but you can see it what they have. And they basically function the same thing, but they are more up to date. So let's go. Alright, we start. And as you can see, animations for sprinting. And it's not anymore so shaky or blurry. There's a bit of shake, but it's not so hard like with the... Project Nevada. And look at this, Just Mods had made compilation out of his mods, so you don't need to have multiple ESP plugins. And it modi and you have you can configure everything out of it, save it to INI, and then load it when you start with new character or so. And you can affect the speed! Holy shit! Like, imagine just running around like this. And with God Mode, it doesn't deplete the action points, so you can just run indefinitely. This is fun. So there's animations for sprinting, there's animations for jumping when sprinting. But there's also a good thing, because there's animations when you are actually using weapons. So it doesn't force out the weapon. That's fucking fantastic. There's also third person animations, but there's some there's some bugs in because you cannot really have the same speed as you have in first person, but because it's tied into the animation. But hopefully we can fix it at some point in the future. Cheyenne okay, starting out the tutorial quest and we have quest markers. Because we really need those. Well, it, you can toggle it on and over if you want. And even you can <laughs> change out things out of it. Like if you want different distance system. <laughs> if you are from Europe or America. And then you can have the objective name when you hover over it. It's nice. It's nice if you are lost in this very open world game like Fallout New Vegas. And you have loot menu like in Fallout 4. I'm indifferent about it, but I think it's nice for people who don't want to, to look, look out with menus. And you can configure it also. Okay. I don't really like that 
take this and try I, to I like the more. dynamic crosshair thing. But let's just edit it out. I don't want I don't want it in first person because it is get the current year and this current year we have updated our weapons that crosshairs actually work. But at least dynamic crosshair works nice in third person. That's the right idea. Look down the try crouching down and staying still. It'll help you. Nice shot. There we go. Well that's this a start. Nice. Now let's apply the scope for it. And try out this. Stewy sticks lets us uh lets us adjust the tomb as much as we want. And it's nice. It's really nice. <sighs> There's also holding the breath system, where you can uh, stabilize your aim for a while before you take a shot. It's nice. It's a nice option to have. And here are some hit markers for enemies. Like when you, you can see the correction if you hit them. If the, if the shot hit them. And it has different color if it's alive or not. So that pretty much confirms if, if it's even dead. And then you have weapon wheel. I never really experienced with that much, but I think it's for if you don't like the quick slots the game already has. And it's customizable as you see fit, but I prefer the quick slot. It's more fun for me that way. Oh yeah, the sprint is so fucking broken if you set it to max. You can just... You can outrun everything. Even Cassadors. This is how we do speedrun of New Vegas modded category. Alright, here we go. Some armor. The, the, the iconic armor must have all the goodies. Oh yeah, advanced recon. I need to figure out why I still have that, because it has mod configuration menu. It doesn't really need that uh, tool in the armor settings. But yeah, let's just equip this one. And a new visor. And unlike the another one, it doesn't really change around when you look around immersively. It's it's nice. Oh shit, dead glove. Let's go with the uh... Oh yeah, we have also hit marker if you to see where somebody has shot us or hit us. It's cool, it's cool. Oh yeah, and the bullet time. Let's talk about bullet time here. You can toggle it off as you want, change the multiplier, the, how much it drains the AP, and also the weapon cost, and you can change between the sounds and the visuals, especially the visuals, to get rid of the blur. Like, when you, when you change, when you, Sway the camera, it doesn't blur so much, unlike in Project Nevada for some reason. This is good. And now that we have fixed the visor, everything looks pretty clean and nice. We have also the system for night vision and thermal, thanks to Advanced Recon mod. You have different modes of night vision. I gotta say, Enhanced Vision is still fine, but I don't really want to risk it, like have Project Nevada on top of it, because this is working out fine. And it's working out with like, a lot of... It works with scripts, it works better than Project Nevada implementation, and it has customizable options, it's nice. Vision is nice because you can see through objects to see opponents and all. It's good. Although I just got... When I was making this video, however, I, I didn't notice that somebody had imported a standalone mod for cybernetic implants and enhanced vision. So I decided to go through with that as well. So getting out Desert Ranger armor right here. Apparently you need to upgrade it through here, because 
uh, the author hasn't y yet put out DLC support, but you can basically give like night vision, heat vision, and EM vision for <laughs> for 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 <laughs> glasses, eyeglasses, for example. It's pretty funny to think about it like that. But yeah, it works exactly like enhanced vision from Project Nevada, but it's standalone and it should that way conflict with other mods. It's nice. And the EM vision is really nice to look at. It's also pretty broken because it really highlights everything, every enemy or alive thing in the background, even if they are behind the wall. Makes sniping and stealth so much easier. Only balanced by the energy cell charging. But yeah, I would recommend this over Project Nevada. We could say that Project Nevada is now... Um, old, should be ditched, just my word on it.